Alrighty. Okay. Holy shit. I literally just heard the biggest belly flop. Well, maybe I'll catch a glimpse of what it was. Anyway. Decided I'm gonna make a video. Um. I feel really stupid because I'm looking at myself. Um. Yeah, so. Today is the first day of my bike tour. I'm gonna make it to Portland. <clears throat> and, um. Yeah, it was pretty good. I only biked 30 miles, but a couple things happened. First of all, I went to this park that my mom told me that she and my dad used to go to. I don't remember the name of the park. But um, I got there and it was kind of just a road. And I was like, this is bullshit. Then I found a farm stand that was like, I didn't realize people did this, but the farm stand is not um, manned. Like, you literally just take the stuff that you want, and then you leave the money, which is pretty cool, so... I kept having a mental battle with myself the entire day of whether I should stop at one of these farm stands and buy tomatoes. But, like, I keep obsessing about the way that the ba my bags are, like, weighted. Because the one on the left is clearly heavier than the one on the right, and for some reason I was using that as, like, justification to not get tomatoes. Still don't really understand, but I'm gonna rebalance the bags today so that I can, like, put new stuff on top of both sides. I think it's because the right one had was like full volume but low weight and the left one was like low volume but really heavy so I felt like I had to put it in the heavier bag but I didn't want to put it in the heavier bag because that would make it even more heavy but that was the only bag that had space so I was like okay I'm not getting tomatoes. But anyway I got peaches from this other one and a giant cucumber. I don't know why the fuck I got cucumber. I literally never eat cucumbers. So basically I bought a cucumber for no reason and it's still in my bag and I could have used that space to put tomatoes but I'm going to eat the cucumber tomorrow I guess. Um, oh yeah, here, I'm going to take a break from my face, you can just look at where I, my campsite is. How do I, how do I swap it? I keep taking screenshots and I'm trying to like flip the camera around. Is that not a feature of an android? Oh my god, that is so stupid. I keep fucking taking pictures of myself thinking it's gonna flip the camera, but I know it's not, so now I have- Oh, I can pause. Okay, I unpause. Apparently, you literally cannot switch which camera you're using to take a video in the middle of a video. With Android. I feel like this is not- Oh, wow. <laughs> if I just hold it up here, it looks a lot better. <laughs> uh, yeah, alright, I can just show the background this way then. Uh, anyway. So what happened? Oh yeah, then I got to the- to the lake at that park that my mom told me about. It started with an A. And then there was this dude setting up his boat and we were chit-chatting about boats. And I was like hoping that he was gonna ask me to go on his boat with him. And I was too afraid to ask. And I held his boat for him while he, cause he forgot something in his car. And he told me, he was like, I've been driving around for like an hour and a half because they put the detour signs everywhere, but they didn't connect them together. So you can't figure out where the detour goes. So apparently he was just driving in a huge circle. Well, he wasn't actually that mad. I was definitely over-exaggerating how upset he was. Anyway, then after he left, I started cooking oatmeal. And this fucking guy, Manuel, has been watching me out of this little yellow car. And he's, like, not parked in the spot. He's parked in, like... He's parked in, like, the line spot. Like, the one place you're not supposed to park in, he's parked in there. And he's just watching me out of his car like this. Well, actually, like this. Because his left eye was, like... His left eye was like, I don't even know. It was weird. His left eye was non clearly non-functioning. And it was it was discharging. It was like nothing I've ever seen before. He seemed like a sweet yet lonely man. And he got out of his car to talk to me. And then he told me about how he had saw like this bike club that does bike touring. And he was like, yeah, you, you reminded me of them. And he kept saying the same thing over and over again. And he kept making these like weird, like, <laughs> they were like... <laughs> I don't know, he was like, America's the only place where you can do stuff like this. Never forget that if you write a book. And was just saying, like, all this kind of, like... He also implied that... <laughs> he also implied that I might get attacked by terrorists in, within the United States. So, that was kind of weird. Uh, then I saw a bunch of horses. I don't know if I already said that. I passed, like, five farm stands, and every single time I passed one, I was like, I should buy tomatoes, that would taste really good. And then my other brain was like... 
So then I never got tomatoes. And then I kept going along. And then basically I just got here. And it's like actually really nice. There's a huge lake. And like the lake continues over there. And then I came in from over here. And I'm, I actually took a shit in the ground like back in there. It was a really weird shit. Uh, oh, I also had um, curry that I made. But I didn't bring salt because I was like, I don't need salt. I'm a minimalist. And then I ate it and it tasted like water. So now I'm going to get salt. Um, yeah, I tried to go swimming in this lake. And, like, it looks really nice in the middle, but you obviously can't see. But there's no beach, so it's, like, there's kind of just, like, an edge to it with grass and stuff. And I found a little gap, and I I was, like, oh, I'm so scared to go in here. Because there was, like, lily pads, and, like, it was, like, murky and, like, muddy and stuff. So then I put my shoes on and took a stick, and I was just going through the water like a fucking dumbass. Like, moving my stick around to make sure there was nothing in there that was going to attack me. And then... I went out like 20 feet probably and it still wasn't deep enough for me to like take a bath and it was like really muddy still and then I got out and my legs were covered and caked in mud which is so unfortunate. Anyway, I gave up on the idea of going swimming here. I feel like there's probably a place where I can do it, I'm just missing something so. Actually that was really bumming me out that I couldn't swim and I was like, ah, uh, like a few things just, the few things that I noticed that just weren't going to plan. It's the first day and like I'm just flipping out at myself I'm, and then I put my tent down and I put my tent on top of a fucking like rose bush rose thing actually it was so oh my god i cut two live ones and the whole time i was feeling bad about it so then i was like oh, i shouldn't cut these i should just put my tent where i don't have to kill anything and then i was like you know what fuck these little rose rose men and then i cut them off with the, my little knife and i was like yeah fuck you and then i started pulling the roots and then this huge root came out and i was like oh my god anyway then when i got into my tent I put my hand directly onto a rose thorn and it went right through the bottom of my tent. So now there's like a tiny little micro hole in the bottom of my, of my tent. And I know it probably doesn't matter, but it makes me really, really anxious about water. But I really don't think that any water can come through that tiny hole. It's also drizzling now, so the water is happening. And then, uh, yeah, I was laying in my tent and it was like six. And I was like, what am I going to do now? And I started worrying about all the different things I could be doing. Like, I could figure out where I'm going to go tomorrow. I could figure out where I could try to call someone or something. This is so weird. I don't want to look at myself because then I start, like, thinking about, like, I should fix my hair. Or, like, I start thinking about what kind of angle I should use. But then when I'm not looking at the camera, I feel like I'm doing that thing where you're, having, where you're talking to someone and you're not looking them in the eyes. But the reality of it is that I'm standing in the middle of nowhere, literally just talking to myself. And, like, I'm basically just staring myself in the face right now. But I'm actually not, because the camera lens is... whatever. Anyway. I'm not... rip. Uh, oh yeah, here's what my thing looks like. I got my clothesline, which is not going to dry anything because it's raining. My bike is over there. My tent is there, as you can see, and it's actually a nice little spot back here, and I'm pretty psyched to reorganize my bags in the morning so I can buy fucking tomatoes and eat breakfast in the opposite order of what I said. Alright, well, pretty much hated doing this, so I don't know how many more I'm going to do, but... Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck me. Okay, yeah, bye. Well, there was supposed to be music playing, but apparently the music turns off when you record. Hi! I don't know what that thing over there is. Hello! It's been raining for like an hour and a half. But I got this poncho, and when I bike in the poncho, like, the whole back part flips up, and it, I just look like a big cotton candy thing, like a the little stick with cotton candy, or a big stick with a big cotton candy.
next to a swamp. Look what I find. You! Took me a while to realize this until I saw that sign over there, but the, all these fields are actually cranberry uh, farm thing. Like, this is all ocean spray. I was so confused what all this land was with the buildings. I thought they were like trying to grow trees or something. But there's no trees, so that was a stupid thing to think. But yeah, I think maybe, like, I can definitely see some red stuff down there. So, might be that I was at a berries. <laughs>